take photos in front of this? My wall in the wall. Oh, I literally am videoing. Hey guys, it is Alex, and this is my first official vlog. I look like a train wreck. It's fine. I'm, I'm at my parents' house. Our living room is basically a um, museum, but it's fine. And it's a Friday night. It's 10 p.m. We about to go to Steak and Chisel, and um, yeah, I'm here with Billy. Um, hi, my name is Billy McNeil, and I'm my girlfriend. My girlfriend. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, my plan is that I'm gonna. He thinks my armpits fall. That's fine. We pray to. Actually, I know they do. I'm gonna make some vlogs about being an art student and my whole process of making this zine I'm working on and all of my art projects and just getting into a fine arts program, the whole entire portfolio review process. So let me know if you'd be interested in that and I'll see you next time. It's Alex and today is April 12th. It's a Thursday and the weather is so nice out. Right now it's about 10 a.m. and it's in the 60s and it's supposed to get up into the 80s and I'm just so glad that I'm able to wear shorts and just let my freckles see the sun. Just constant days of rain and then it'll snow and then maybe the sun will come out. Probably not. Like I'm just so glad that it is sunny right now. It's supposed to storm tomorrow, so that's great. Kind of scary. The weather forecast was like severe strong storms, like wind can get up to 40 miles per hour. So um, try not to think about that right now. And then on Sunday, uh, they're calling for snow. So I'm really just gonna try to live in the moment and enjoy this weather. I started a new job yesterday. So that's happening and just overall I'm going to try to enjoy my day because the past few months haven't been so great and I feel like this sunny weather is really just going to kind of transform my life. and a lot of my videos don't have narratives. Usually whenever I make a video, I have an idea and a concept, but I kind of just go with the flow and whatever kind of footage I get, I just deal with it and I think it usually turns out good. This video, I just was inspired by just the fact that it's like starting to finally feel like spring and summer. And I was listening to Red Hot Chili Peppers and then the Shaky Graves came on and it just reminded me of summer. Major throwback to my junior high or middle school days things were kind of crazy like I had a lot of older friends so I was like hanging out with older people and just like basically whenever you're like in the talking phase with like a boy or somebody that you like and things just don't end up working out but like you weren't serious so you're not that upset but you're like bummed out kind of and then that paired along with just the feelings of summer kind of like being in the river or being in the pool like water splashing up on your skin the, the warmth the warmth of the sun on your skin and then also just like sand from the riverbank and just the overall feeling of like sweat on your skin like feeling grimy kind of but feeling really free while simultaneously feeling that like slight heartache it makes sense in my mind and I just wanted to kind of like be a love story kind of not to be too cheesy realizing now when you're older that those moments that you had with all of these different people in your life they are like really special and they le lead you to where you are in the future and now that I've been dating my boyfriend for five years 
So I'm really happy and in love there, but I still can like appreciate those relationships and friendships I had in the past where things like necessarily didn't work out, but I still really, really, really cherish the times that I had with those friends. And I just think it will be a really special and sentimental video. And I really hope to capture a lot of those like feelings and visuals that you experience in the summer whenever you like don't have, or at least for me, I didn't really have like a curfew. And I kind of like went as I pleased, like my parents trusted me. And just feeling free and like, how that's kind of scary and I just think it'll be like a really relatable video so that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now I definitely want to start filming that probably at the beginning of summer a lot of things to think about overall I'm just really excited for all of my projects I have coming up I'm gonna make another video probably about my orange juice zine which I've been working on it still has a lot of work I hope that it'll be ready to go by June and it won't be like summer starts in June so that'll be perfect Oh my god, when life comes together. So I'm gonna talk more about that probably in a bit. And yeah, I'm just so excited about all the creative endeavors. There's it's a roller coaster feeling like uninspired and inspired and like having so many ideas and feeling overwhelmed. But overall, I know that being creative is the only way I'm gonna make it. I don't have any backup plan. I know that if I don't give it 100%, it's not gonna happen for me, and I can't imagine doing anything else. I know I will be, I would be so unhappy. Like I could work any job and I could learn to do any task, but I know I wouldn't feel fulfilled if I wasn't doing something creative. I would feel like I was selling out, even though I wouldn't really, because I probably wouldn't be making that much money either. Like I guess I could become an accountant or something I don't know okay anyways that is my most recent idea I just had it while driving back from work in class but um, yeah I will sign out here day I'm honestly probably over layered for the day because it's supposed to be in like the 70s and I'm wearing jeans and a long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt over but you know I gotta look edgy so I just have class all day um, right now I'm walking to the bus to catch or to go to fibers and then after that I have my class called intro to visual culture and then I have to drive on down to, I have to drive about four hours because I'm going to this concert tonight and I am super excited they're called Lapalux and it's like this guy it's one guy and he makes like electronic music and he's from the UK and he's come all the way down to Missouri <laughs> and I'm just super excited to see him and dance my ass off so that's all for now <laughs>
crazy one, guys. I am walking to the bus stop as usual. It's 8.45 a.m. Um, I stayed up all night. <laughs> I'm feeling rough right now, and I have a long day ahead of me. But at least it's like it's like a gloomy day, but it is like the temperature is good. So that's a plus. But the concert last night was amazing. It just got done at 2 a.m. And then by the time that I got back to my hometown and then back to where I go to school, there was just basically no time at all to sleep. And I had to shower and just I haven't done my homework. I'm stressing. Still smiling. That's why I feel like I have to use flash, but like I don't want to be like that person. It's happening. Right. Spotlight. It's been fun. Spotlight. 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 Sp
nice everything bagel. These are my favorite. Um, it's like the Thompson brand. They're vegan, and I put um, country crock on it, which is actually vegan. Surprisingly, I'm having kiwi, two clementines, and then half of a almond milk latte, or actually a soy latte from yesterday. And so as far as I can see, well, there's a cardinal up there. to the bus as we speak and it's not a far walk about seven minutes to the good old bus stop I feel like I'm in um, a great school again every time I ride it but it's fine you know growing up is a social construct and um, maybe I still am in grade school who knows it may be in a different dimension what am I saying anymore anyways I'm just sipping on this old latte I have to get my fix Ow. I'm filthy. I know. <laughs> now it's like slobbery. I'm missing all the melting parts. What do you mean? Oh, like on your camera? Yeah, because I want to like film it. Or I want to take photos of we it melting. Get another one out. Like, I yeah. can't do it. The best job ever. True. <laughs> the fit. We got the brown Brad's boots. True. Check them out. Thrifted or from Depop? Depop. Don't work in the shop. We got some nice thrifted jeans. Jeans. I think they're from Paid. Is that a brand? I don't know. <laughs> we got a nice white shirt. Thrifted. We got a nice uh, scarf. Thrifted. thrifted. <laughs> we got some nice earrings. Thrifted. thrifted. And also making my ears bleed. Uh, so <laughs> good development. Well. Orange popsicle. Thrifted. <laughs> guys um today is may 1st so i'm kind of like filming this video to like be a closing clip for my april vlog 
And I've just decided that I think I'm gonna kind of do that. Like, I'll get better as the months go along, but I kind of just wanna film little snippets of my life throughout the month, talk to the camera when I see fit, and kind of just make little update vlogs every single month. Um, I do plan on posting a lot more frequently over the summer, and I even had intentions of doing that during the semester, but time just gets away from you, and really I can make like any excuse ever, but I just need to make it more of a priority because I definitely have time to do it if I just manage my time better. But, um, so hopefully I'll do that because I have a lot of ideas in the works and you'll see that in this video too because I have those segments in here and, um, basically, yeah, April all in all was a really great month. I did a lot of stuff. I got a job. I went to some concerts. I did school. And, um, sorry if you hear that. That's like some lawn care stuff happening. But overall... It was great and I can't wait for May because I have a lot of fun stuff planned. Like the semester's ending, I'm going to a music festival, I'm going to New York City, you'll see all of that. I hopefully just so many things that you'll see. So um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Wow, 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 wow.